our world is more connected than ever before. And technology is breaking new boundaries every single second. The future has never been so exciting as it is today. I'm Chris Riddell, a futurist, trend spotter, pattern hunter. I'm passionate about understanding our future and discovering the very people who are helping to create tomorrow's world. This is our future. This is tomorrow's world. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Tomorrow's World. We're here at CES 2016. It is the largest technology show in the world. More than 150,000 people are set to come through these doors over the next few days. The future is all about technology and wearable devices. Take a journey now with me as we explore some of these big technology trends and how they're going to impact us all at home. Virtual and augmented reality, wearables, robots, smart homes and 3D printing, transport and payment systems, they're all in the mix. If, like me, you're fascinated by drones and unmanned systems and their future direction, it's time to take a closer look. There's serious money in this. Sales in the drone market look set to hit the $100 million mark this year. A full 50% more than last year, and it's expected to hit $1 billion in the next five years. With that kind of money at stake, it's not surprising there are lots of great minds focused on delivering smarter and smarter features. And in a crowded marketplace, you have to be pretty smart to make it work. And that is something French company Hexo Plus has done. It is a self-flying, intelligent drone designed to create awesome video footage of yourself without any piloting involved. Innovator and champion snowboarder Xavier de la Russe took me out into the Nevada desert for a test flight. I film a lot in the wilderness where you need helicopters, where the aerial perspective brings so much to the footage and it was always complicated in some places to have a helicopter or drone pilot. So I was really dreaming of a solution that, that could make you be completely autonomous. Film where you want, when you want, be free, you know? Basically a drone that's specialized into uh, following high-speed action sports basically. So it goes 70 kilometers an hour for biking, for skiing, for all those kind of sports that are in big open spaces. You can shoot yourself without having to control anything. The cool thing is that you don't need a remote control because you control everything with the app. You can choose all sorts of different camera movements. You can have a slide in, slide out, uh, like 360 around you. Drone technology is evolving rapidly. Xavier and his team have just announced a brand new feature for the Hexo Plus. Today we're launching at the CES, yeah, it's called the Magic One. So it's basically something where you point your drone and your phone becomes a magic one and you just move it around where you want. It took a lot of work to get the Hexo Plus off the ground. Over 2,000 backers pledged the more than 1.3 million to help bring this project to life. Wow, this is nuts. Exactly the type of entrepreneurship required to succeed in tomorrow's world. Amazing thing is, as bad as I am at flying this, it's self-writing itself. You can see it trying to balance. It's absolutely bananas. Whoa! 
How much would one of these set me back? So these drones cost uh, 1,300 euros. Yep. Which How many? Be... That's in real money. That's probably around 1,500 US dollars. Yes. We're going to go smaller, so then we're going to need less batteries, so we're going to be able to fly longer. We're going to have more intelligence, so we're going to be able to avoid any obstacles. It's going to be more safe, so we're going to be able to, to fly in places with a lot more people. I have no idea where it's going to go in two years, because technology is just exploding. And in a more practical application, Chinese company Zerotech are manufacturing drones that are hard at work assisting farmers in ways that may help feed us all in the future. If you have any interest in drones whatsoever, this one has to be the coolest to come out in 2016. This is the Ehang 184. It is a personal drone that you can get in and fly. It travels at 80 kilometers an hour, and this thing will fly you for about four hours. They're about 200 to $300,000 each, but the biggest challenge is there's no legislation yet to even allow you to buy one. These are definitely going to be the toy of the future. Keep your eye out for the Ehang 184.